Hey everyone, welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Nick Smith, and I've got two announcements today. Uh, one is Mr. Rick Paleo is in office with me. Hello, everybody. Rick is one of our application engineers here at JBNA. And the second one is there's new product being announced today and we want to talk about it. And we even thought about renaming the show, like this is not the droid you're looking for. No? Yeah. All right. Well, the product has a special name. It's, yeah, it's very cool. It's the... The 3P1, which is kind of like a droid name. So, you know, we're going to get into that. But in the meantime, this is JBNA Today. Okay, so recent product announcement, New Tech has got a new box on the market. It's called the 3P1. Rick, what is it? The 3P1 is a replay bo box, perfect for sports. It allows you to select just the actual plays of the game and choose from any camera angle and play them back when required. Okay, so this is a highlight reel box. It's a highlight, highlight reel. Highlight from the last yes. play, highlight from yes. the last game, put yes. it up on the big screen. Okay, and this is not a new product for New Tech. They've had this before. Yes, they have. They've, they've had a, a, a four input version of it, an eight input version of it. We got the HDMI version the of HDMI it. HDMI version. Okay. So this one, uh, IO wise, this is SDI. So we have four SDI inputs, two SDI outputs, which have redundancy on yes. them. All good, all good. But there's something new about this one, different than all the others. NDI inputs. NDI inputs. Okay, so for those who don't understand NDI yet, NDI is a network technology from NewTek that allows you to virtualize the video stream onto the network. Network device interface. Network device interface. So I can have my cameras anywhere. I can have my TriCaster anywhere. As long as I'm plugged into the network, I have access to all my sources. And now the three play has NDI support. Yes, and it makes it awesome because you can, you have a combination of either NDI inputs and or SDI inputs. Okay, so I can choose either one. Do I want this frame to be NDI? Do I want this to be SDI? Yes. Okay, yes. now I was also told this acts as an NDI encoder as well. The previous generations did not do that. No. They only output NDI. Yes. So now this one brings in NDI encodes all four channels and pushes out two additional channels of NDI. Yes, and that actually opens up some flexibility inside your traditional complete TriCaster workflow because you can utilize this box to do the transcoding to get it into the NDI source. All right, now they're doing something new in this box that they've never done in any of the other three plays before. What is it? Dual channel first replay Telestration. So Telestrator, the Telestrator is built right into the three play. Now, Telestrator is not new. They've had it. It's been a standalone app. Yep. Another computer on the network yep. that's got a source, draws over it. But now it's built into the three play. So what this really, what the, the really makes this stand out is A, you have the advantage of all the Telestration tools in there, but you also have control over playback. So the artist is not only drawing everything out, but he does have control over playback, which is huge. That's awesome. Yeah, and if we see from the video they've positioned, you do have that control of fast forward rewind. So traditionally, your telestration artist can draw over what's there, but he doesn't have the video, the ability to kind of jump back on his own. Somebody's got to do it for him. Now one person can control the whole story. Right, and this just really increases the production value of whatever you're trying to do. And, and it's, it's a true talent, and we've seen this over years in, in, in live sports, to have somebody in there commenting, telestrating, drawing on the screen, and now having control. Amazing. So, you know, when we talk about sports, so this is more than sports. I mean, it really, well, I guess it's more than traditional sports that we would think about, right? So football, basketball, soccer, but esports has become a massive story this past year, and this is perfect for them. Absolutely, absolutely, because there's so much action in, happening within esports and the ability to go ahead and grab those, those moments in time, those plays, and be able to select from the various camera angles and then build out your playlist, your, your highlight reels, Awesome. Well, not only that, I, I look at many times when I'm watching an esports game is is that the, the screen can get very busy and you might have a lot of players on the screen and now we can start to track players, put markers over the top of them with yes. the telestration yes. and really bring more value to that replay moment. And again, uh, and again, the fact that you could have a simple mark in and out and then choose your camera angles just is just really makes a difference. Now, 
interoperability with the other new tech products is, an, you know, I think a great feature here. And, and, you know, if we look at their compatible products, obviously the TC1 is sort of the flagship switcher right now. Right the NC1, the IO module, so we can bring more SDI in. All of this, though, for me, gives it the ability to play with more than a TriCaster. Yes, yeah, it, it, it actually, with the basic fact that it does have SDI, IO, in and, in and out of it, it can play outside of the new tech product line. It can slide real easily into a ROS switcher and many other traditional baseband video switchers. So, so any of the switchers out there that support NDI, like the new Panasonic or the Telestream, this will drop right in, but any that don't support it, we can still put this in because of the SDI still get it in there. And the, nice. and, and the interface. The interface is an amazing interface to be able to build out those highlight reels and to make your selects quickly and organize all those clips. It's, it's really an awesome box. So I think for me, the probably one of the more exciting pieces of all is the price. 20K? 20K is pretty 20K. amazing. 20K. So 20,000, you get four channels of encode. You get the SDI inputs and outputs. You get the NDI inputs and outputs. You get telestration. Uh, again, I don't know of anything on the market in this size, in this form factor, at this price with these features. With those features, yeah. yes. Very powerful box. So I'm excited for this one. We don't have a release date as of yet, but you know what? It's going to be awesome either way you cut it. So, all right. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. This has been JBNA Today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.